Hello everyone. Today we're going to be discussing why game theory is incorrect with its assumption about the ancient race of builders in Minecraft and the relation to the end and especially Enderman. I want to say this with all respect to MatPat. Um, I think he normally does a wonderful job with his theories. Uh, I think he really did um, make a mistake with this one. And I kind of don't know how he overlooked it because it's fairly obvious. Uh, and maybe I'll have some retort to this and that's completely fine. Um, but let's start at the beginning. So MatPat makes it very clear that he believes that the ancient race of builders, which for those who don't know, are a group of um, pre the present area, which uh, we as our players take up uh, well before then, um, and, and likely well before the illagers and the pillagers were um, exiled from the village, uh, the villages themselves. During this time, um, the earth was occupied by an ancient race of builders, and they are the ones who are responsible for strongholds, uh, for likely nether fortresses, um, for the undersea uh, guardians, and of course, the, the, the undersea temples that, that go along with the guardians. Um, they are also responsible for the ships that you see all around the Minecraft world, uh, and past that even, uh, responsible for the end ships that you'll see uh, in, in the end. Um, and so he postulates that the Endermen as we know it, uh, his reasoning being because they are the only other creatures who can uh, build, um, and of course uh, mine as well, or remove blocks, that they are the descendants, um, or uh, yeah, the descendants of this ancient race of builders. Now, it's an interesting idea, and at first glance, it actually seems quite true. Um, and why is that? Well, because it makes sense. Of course, the, the ancient race of builders made it to the end. Why wouldn't the boats, or the, there wouldn't be boats there made by, you know, the same construction as um, the ancient builders in the past. So it, it seems very likely that they got there and were simply trapped, weren't able to make it out. Uh, hence by the um, broken nether portal that we see lying around. I find it quite interesting that that would uh, exist, and... I agree with this theory up to that point, um, or at least without further evidence, it seems very likely. Um, but I'm here to present some evidence today with that he overlooked that I think proves him wrong. Um, so let's go into that. First and foremost, um, his entire theory relies on the fact that the builders themselves seem to have gone to the end, uh, failed to defeat the dragon, and have remained there trapped without a means to escape. Now, the first theory that I'm going to present is kind of meaningless without the second one, but I'm going to put it first. So if you're going to click away after you hear this first part, think he doesn't hold up, I know uh, the second part should help with that. So my first part of the theory is that I find it very unlikely that the ancient race of builders could have made it into the end and not been able to kill the dragon. Now there's a few reasons for this and why I find it unlikely that that is how it happened. Well, first and foremost, we know for a fact that the ancient race of builders, or at least many of them, were able to make it into... Uh, the diamond, if not the netherite age. And how do we know this? Well, by the fact that they have left all around the world uh, obsidian structures attempting to make it into the nether. And, of course, um, I'm going to assume, just because of how they're constructed and the unlikelihood of the other alternative, that these were mined by using diamond tools and that they had diamonds well in their possession. If you're going to try to make the argument that they simply used an obsidian machine, you'd have to prove a lot of other things. And it just seems very unlikely, given the case and scenario. And I believe that you can also find diamond armor uh, and, and some of his weapons within little chests that are around these nether portals scattered throughout the um, the world. Um, and even even um, if they were able to use a mach the, the obsidian machine to make the nether portals, um, because they're spending so much time around obsidian, and because of the fact that they are extremely talented builders already, it makes no sense that they would not have had some experience with diamond um, tools and armor. Also, you'll find that on these um, nether portals, there's, a, there's a lot of crying obsidian, which cannot be obtained by use of the obsidian machine, as far as I know. So I think that would outlaw any idea that the obsidian machines were used for the creation of those. So we can say with almost utter, uh, utmost certainty that they reached the diamond age. And if they reach the diamond age, of course, they have to be fairly experienced in mining, crafting, which is very obvious. They've built things which even some experienced players might have trouble uh, building, like, uh, as I mentioned, the strongholds or the undersea um, temples. Um, and uh, some people push the, th or I certainly push the theory far farther that they were the ones who created um, the nether st strongholds, the nether strongholds especially. Um, it's a similar style of build as their other builds, and I don't see why they wouldn't have done it. Um, but anyway, that's not really related. So that's the first part of this is, all right, so if I, a rookie player, if, if, I have, if I've reached the Diamond Age, um, I can pretty easily take out the Ender Dragon as one person. 
I th do not think, by any stretch of the imagination, that an entire race of people entering into the end could have failed to kill the Ender Dragon. It just makes no sense. We know that they're likely smarter than us. Uh, and how do we know that? Just by the very the sheer advancements of their builds, the flying ships, um, and the very fact... Well, I'll get to the other reasons why they're much more advanced than us now. Um, but on the subject, we know that they've reached the Diamond Age, that they're excellent miners. We know that they, um, as uh, MatPat himself postulates, can create life out of nothing. And so they are in many ways more advanced than we are. Um, and that in mind, I don't think I can be forced to believe, or made to believe, that this race of builders is able to somehow completely um, fail at their task of the Inner Dragon. If one person with unenchanted diamond armor can do it, and we know for a fact that they, they know how to enchant, if you look at the chests which they leave behind, uh, then I think that we have to maintain that um, there is hardly a percent chance that they would, would have been able to fail against the Ender Dragon. So that's the first part of the theory, that I do not think that I can be made to believe that they would fail against that task. It just makes no sense. An entire race of people who know how to enchant, who know how to mine, and are at the Diamond or Netherite Age. I say or Netherite because um, once Diamond is obtained, I don't see why they would not go farther. And we know they've been to the End, so I would assume so. Or, um, excuse me, <laughs> I know that they've been to the Nether. Um, and that would obviously make it much more clear that they've likely uh, reached the, uh, the the netherite stage by this point. So I don't think I could be made to believe that they would not be able to um, destroy the inner dragon. Now, I know what you're saying. In your heads, you're thinking, but wait, they didn't, because it's still there. And of course, that's where the, where the second part of this theory comes. If we understand that they could not have destroyed the inner dragon, we gotta look farther. Is there any way which we can still keep the concept of the dragon without ha them having failed against that task? Well, there is, and this is the part where MatPat has utterly failed. Does MatPat not see that the ancient race of builders literally has the in-portal frames in multiple of their dungeons and strongholds? And so if his idea that they were trapped in the end is correct, and were not able to come back and bring their in-portal um, in frames through in-stone, it makes no sense. It just makes no sense whatsoever. They had the ability to craft multiple in portals. Yeah, I said it. Multiple in portals were able to obtain in stone, bring it back, and then were able to create more portals. They were able to do all of these things, which means that they had to have come to the end and come back at least once. Now. I do not know how MatPat could not have seen this. It just makes so much sense. You can't say that they were trapped in the end. Maybe some of them were. I'm not saying that there wasn't a remnant, but it seems less likely if you put it against the facts. They were able to come to the end, retrieve the end stone, bring it back, and then put it into the strongholds we have nowadays. It is very clear that they have been to the end, they have come back, and know how to craft in portal frames. Now you might be asking, okay, but then how did they get the in-portal frames in the first place? I don't have an answer for that, because we're talking, we're not talking about how it was achieved in the first place. All we know is that they've gone to the end to get in stone, which is where the only place where it naturally occurs, and we're able to come back that way. So then you might be saying, all right, then what does the dragon have to do with it? The answer is fairly clear. Everything which the builders make has some sort of guardian, whether it's, uh, as I would postulate, the nether strongholds, which have the blazes, which you can craft out of regular items, uh, like the blaze rod, for example, which is fairly um, obvious in its in its construction. Um, I, that's that's a theory, but um, which I'm working on. But then, secondly, of course, the undersea temples with the guardians, um, or the villages with the iron golems, um, the snow golems as well, and of course the warden, which Matt Pat himself postulates is simply the guardian of the strongholds or something of that ilk. Obviously, these people know how to cover their tracks and protect themselves. So, what if they made it to the end? They find these deserted islands, and they are able to create um, obsidian blocks in ways of giving a dragon an immortal lifespan. They obviously have the power over life and death, why couldn't they do it with these beams and crystals? And they create the dragon to protect their steps. They've conquered the earth, they've conquered the nether, why not conquer the end? 
and then take ships from there to go see the rest. In fact, maybe they're still searching. We don't know, and I'm not attempting to answer that. They might be saying, it seems like a bit of a stretch to say that they had created the end or the Ender Dragon. Is it though? I mean, they literally have Ender Dragon heads attached to their ships. I cannot see a place for saying that they did not have some power in leaving the Ender Dragon there. Either way, even if they, even if it was there, it's clear that they were able to make it back without killing the Ender Dragon. But I just find it highly unlikely. It seems like nowadays you have to kill the Ender Dragon to get back. But they didn't, so I would assume that the dragon was not there during that time. Same thing with the Endermen. This, this leads to the next part of this, is that it does seem like the Endermen are created of the exact same substance which um, the Ender Dragon is. You know, an obsidian-looking substance. Does, does it not make sense that perhaps the um, the Ender Dragon and the Endermen are created of the same thing? I mean, the Ender in their name, it just doesn't make any sense to, um, to postulate that the Endermen are the remnants of... The, the master race of builders. So that's what I say, Matt Pat. How did you miss that? It seems pretty obvious that even if there was a remnant who got lost there, doesn't it add up? They've obviously gone there to get in stone. They have a secret recipe for the ability to create um, the Ender Portal frames. They literally have end, uh, Ender Dragon heads on their ships. Um, furthermore, everything which they create, every track which they leave behind, which we've used to, to connect our theories, they always leave something to protect it. Doesn't it make sense to have the Ender Dragon to it, too? So, anyway, um, that's the theory, basically. MatPad, maybe you can think about amending your theory. Sure, the Endermen can still be a remnant of them, but you have to move past that. It seems that the most obvious answer is that the Master Builders, the ancient race of Builders, came to the end, came back with the Sandstone and what else they might need to create the End Portal Frames and then come back via their own uh, methods uh, of the portal. And they take ships from there. Maybe they've returned. Maybe they never were trapped in the end. Who knows? But I think that um, this theory has a little bit more credence than yours might. Anyway, with all due respect, that's my theory. Thank you for watching.